Hello friends, welcome to this video. In the last video, we saw the practical part of how to create a macro. So I hope that you have gone through that video. Now, from this video, we'll be starting a new topic, which is known as pivot tables. Pivot tables, pivot charts, slicers, these are very, very important topics in Microsoft Excel. And definitely you should know this topic in detail. What we'll be doing that, we'll be starting first of all with the introduction to pivot table. In the introduction to pivot table, we'll see that oh, do I have to follow some rules before I start creating the pivot table? So we'll see all those rules, those necessary rules and some of the say, not so mandatory rules. And then after understanding this, what is this pivot table, then we'll be starting in the next video with the practical part of pivot table. So there also we'll be seeing the various topics related to pivot table. We'll be seeing that, okay, how first of all we can create a pivot table, how we can manipulate within the pivot table, how we can take care of the various tabs which are available in the pivot table, then how to do the grouping in the pivot table, how to create the slicers, how to create the pivot charts. It will be around 10 to 12 videos related to this pivot tables, pivot chart and slicers. So please watch out this whole series on this pivot table and definitely you will get a lot of learning. So now in this video, we'll be starting with the introduction to pivot table. I'm having this one file which is known as sample superstore file and this file will be using in all the videos related to the pivot table. So here we are having many columns. So we are having the row ID, then order ID, order date, ship date, ship mode, customer ID, customer name. Then we have here the segment, country. Now here, mostly we are having the dummy sales data of US only. So country, everywhere it is US. Then we are having the city, state or province, postal code, region. Then we have the product ID, category, subcategory. We have the product name. And finally, we are having the four numerical column that is sales, quantity, discount and profit. So this is our main table or you can say the data table. Now from this table, we'll be creating the pivot table. But before we start creating the pivot table, let us understand what is meant by pivot table and what are the various rules that I have to follow before I start creating the pivot table. I'm starting with a small presentation. First of all, we'll see what is a pivot table. Pivot table is a data summarization tool that is used in the context of data processing. So if anybody asks you, what is pivot table? You have to remember only three words, data summarization tool. Suppose with our normal table, we are having a lot of rows and a lot of columns. Now, if I want to do any quick analysis, yeah, let's say in our example, we are having here the this kind of data. And if I want to know that, okay, particular category, suppose. So let's say this category office supplies. If I want to know that what is the total sales in the office supplies category, if I do it manually, it will take a lot of time. But then what we can do that we can make this pivot table or say we can create a pivot table from this main table and that pivot table will be very compact. And then we can do any kind of analysis. This is one of the major advantage of the pivot table that it is a data summarization tool. It summarizes everything thing and then it shows you the data. It is used to summarize, sort, reorganize, group, count, total or average data stored in a table. From the next video onwards, I'll be starting with the practical part and then I'll show you all this concept, how to summarize, how to do the sorting, how to reorganize the pivot table, how to do the grouping, how to go for the count, total, average, etc. So all these things we'll be seeing in detail. The third point says here that it allows its users to transfer columns into rows and rows into columns. So here I'll practically show you that whatever you're putting in the rows, any field, so that field you can also put it into columns and whatever is there in the columns, you can put it into the rows. So that also we'll see practically. Before you start creating the pivot table, there are some necessary conditions which you have to fulfill. Now see, I've seen a lot of videos on pivot table on YouTube, but most of the people, they don't tell you that what are the main conditions that you have to follow or what are the mandatory conditions or necessary conditions which you have to check before you create the pivot table because see normally what i've seen that once people they get the data they start creating the pivot table see creating a pivot table is not a big thing it will just take five to ten seconds only to create a pivot table but what is important that before you start creating the pivot table you have to check your main table and it should follow some rules and regulations so let us see those necessary conditions over here the first point says here that each column of the data table must have a title. So if I go back to my main table, so I have to check here that all my columns should have one title. So this table is perfect. It is having all the column titles here. Let's say by mistake, the person has deleted one of the titles. So then you have to put here proper title. So title is correct. Then here it says that the column title should be written in a single row. So whatever the title you are writing over here 
on the top area in the first row it should be written in only one row normally what we do that if we are having a very large title we put it into two rows but that is not accepted over here for creating a pivot table you have to write down the even the long title also in one row so that is the second condition which has to be fulfilled the third condition says that in a column all the items should be of the same data type that is numbers dates or strings let us take here our example so let's say here i am having the segment column now the segment column is containing all the text so this segment column should contain only text it should not contain any kind of date format or any kind of number it should only have the text data type similarly if i go for let's say this ship date here so the ship date column should have only the date data type it should not have any kind of text or any kind of number and finally if we see here the sales quantity discount and profit all these four columns should only have the numbers yeah it can be a combination of whole number and decimal number that is fine but it should contain only numbers it should not contain any kind of text and any kind of date data type so this is what is mentioned over here so if any one of your column is having that kind of discrepancy that okay this sales column is also containing some text then you have to remove that text here or if the sales column is containing some date data type then you have to remove that date from this sales column otherwise pivot table will show you some error so this is the third condition the fourth condition says that the data table should not contain any merge cells so merge cells sometimes you must have seen that suppose if i show you here one of this merge cell so let's say this is one of the merge cell between these two columns so if you are having this kind of merge cell you have to remove it you have to separate it so that is the fourth point the fifth point says that the data table should not contain subtotals or grand totals so many times you must have seen that in between some few rows you are having some kind of a subtotal here let's say you will find some subtotal then below also you will find some another subtotal at the end of the table you may find some grand total so if you are having subtotals or grand totals in your main table then you have to remove it you cannot keep here the grand total and subtotal so that is what is written over here in this point number 5 now point number 6 says that the empty rows or columns should not remain within the table so suppose if you are having here we are having the empty column now if you are having such kind of situation you have to remove that empty column or you have to remove the empty row if you are having here a blank column then what pivot table will think that pivot table will have an idea that okay these five columns are part of one table and the other columns are part of second table but actually this is only one table yeah because of this blank column we are having this confusion so please remove it that is what is written over here in the six point the last point says here that after creating a pivot table do not change the titles of the fields in the data table otherwise the pivot table values will be deleted so suppose let's say i have created a pivot table from this main table now after creation of the pivot table i am having one of the title let's say customer id now instead of customer id if i change it to customer number so here i am changing the title after i have already created the pivot table so then what will happen then that pivot table will show you some error because pivot table remember this initial title that is the customer id but now if you change this title to customer number then pivot table will show you some error so what i'll suggest you that if you want to really change the column title please change it before creating the pivot table so that you don't have this kind of issue so this is the seventh point and the seventh point you have to follow after you create a pivot table yeah so you have to take care of this thing so these are the seven necessary conditions you have to check before you create the pivot table now we go for the final slide over here that is there are two desirable conditions which has to be fulfilled before creating the pivot table so desirable means if you follow these rules it is fine otherwise it will not create any error so the first rule says that unique names for each column when two fields are given same name the title of the second field will be appended at end with two that is salary 2 so here suppose see sometimes you are having some kind of let's say a salary table let's say you are having here one of the column name known as gross salary and you also have one more column known as net salary now we know very well that gross salary and net salary are totally different but sometimes the data entry operator what he or she will do that they will write down here simply salary and salary so there are two columns having the same title so in this kind of situation what uh, pivot table will do that when you create the pivot table then pivot table will take this first salary as salary and the second salary title will be taken as salary 2 
So this is what pivot table does. But what I'll suggest to you here that please have unique names for each of the column that is very much required here. So that is what is written over here in the first point desirable condition and the second desirable condition says that complete data for all records. So whenever you are having such kind of table, you have to check it that whether you are having the full data or not. Suppose if there are some few empty cells over here, then it is fine. You can keep those empty cells. But if you are having more empty cells over here in this file, then I would suggest you that you send this file to the department from where this file has come. Request them that could you please fill up all these blank cells because see they know their data very well. You should not apply your logic over here. You should send this file back to the department from where it has come. They fill up those blank cells and then they will give it back to you and then you start creating the pivot table because when the file is complete, when the table is complete, then it will give you the correct information in your pivot table. So friends here we have seen the introduction about pivot table. After this introduction in the next video, we'll start creating the first pivot table. So see you then in the next video. Thank you very much.